And our News Channel 12 cameras were in the Windsor subdivision this afternoon where this all began. And that's where Deja Mayfield is joining us now live with the very latest there on the ground. And Deja, what can you tell us? Frank Vallow was a standoff that lasted for hours here at this home behind me on Buckingham Drive in Winterville. This evening, we finally know the name of the suspect. He's Claude Edsel Brooks Jr. Claude Edsel, excuse me, Brooks Jr., who's been wanted for the murder of an eight-month-old child since 2019. Early this afternoon, the Pitt County Sheriff's Office posted an alert to their Facebook page calling for a shelter in place. Pitt County Sheriff Paula Dan says officers knew that Brooks was inside a home here on Buckingham Drive and for hours officials attempted call outs, deployed tear gas and other measures in order to apprehend the suspect. Sheriff Dance also says that Brooks, the suspect, had been in the area for some time now and was even arrested here before. While in custody, Brooks had given officials a fictitious name but had bonded out of jail before officials realized who he was. This evening, I spoke to the woman who owns the home where the standoff happened, but she did not want to be on camera. Um, so I had an Airbnb guest by the name of Austin check in. And to come to find out that this was a fugitive that was wanted for killing his eight month old baby that we had no clue about. So apparently someone had booked the Airbnb for him. And we found out this morning. So it's just an unfortunate situation with this really nice neighborhood. Um, I don't know, just people are evil and it's just sad. Sheriff Paula Dance also says there were other people inside the residence who have yet to be identified. But the woman who owns the home says that it was the pregnant girlfriend of the suspect who surrendered to law enforcement after 15 minutes. Because of the incident, Wintergreen Elementary School, Hope Middle School and D.H. Conley High School had their bus drivers not come to this neighborhood until law enforcement officials deemed it safe. I also took a look at the Facebook page of the Pitt County Sheriff's Office and they say that the home remains a crime scene and is off limits. In Pitt County, I'm Deja Mayfield for News Channel 12.